Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And since June of 2022, I've been using Manjaro to manage my type 2 diabetes. I've also been documenting this experience here on YouTube. And thank you so much for all of you who have been coming along on this journey. So before I get into the week 66 update, I just want to remind you that I'm not a healthcare professional and I'm just sharing my personal experience and opinion about using Manjaro. Also, I have no relationship with the drug manufacturer, Eli Lilly, and I have no relationship with any uh, clinic or pharmacy that is promoting Monjaro. I know my image is being used to promote some of those services, but I have no relationship with those entities at all. In fact, I have turned down at least three opportunities to work with clinics and or pharmacies. So yeah, Monjaro has been a game changer in my life. Um, I have lost about 60 pounds uh, since being on the medication. I have lowered my A1C from 8.2 to 5.4. Um, I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease at the beginning of taking this medication. I no longer have that. It's, it's been reversed because of this, because of this medication. Um, I had high blood pressure. I no longer have high blood pressure and I no longer take high blood pressure medication. I did have high cholesterol. My cholesterol is a little bit high, but it is lowering. So I'm still on a statin, but I'm on my way of weaning myself off of that. So yeah, Manjaro has been a game changer in my life. So let's talk about week 66. Friday was injection day, kind of. Um, first off, let me tell you that being up front, I did not have a good week. And I was debating whether I should tell you about the bad week I had and the dumb thing that I did that I'll tell you about in a little bit. And I decided a lot of you have been with me on this journey since the beginning and we're friends and I just owe it to you to be upfront and honest and transparent. Um, but Friday, I received a, or Monday, I received a call that my aunt passed away. Um, my aunt up in Western New York, where I'm from. So it was a little bit of a, of a shock. I wasn't expecting that. So I've been bummed out with that. So my, my week has been a little bit off. It was also the one year anniversary of Hurricane Ian. And it just reminded me that I still have work to be done that FEMA and my insurance company denied me of. So I need to, you know, find that money myself. Um, finances, things are just getting so expensive. It's getting expensive to just exist. And so I've been worried about finances. Um, I just didn't eat well this, for most of the week. I did get back in track towards the end of the week, but I ate a lot of high sodium, high carb, high fat foods early on in the week. Um, I gained weight in the beginning of the week, but I was able to change that around by eating, by being more mindful as to what I was putting into my body nutritionally towards the end of the week. So I woke up this morning and I was 132 pounds which is the same as last week. So I didn't gain or lose any weight. Um, nutrition, as I mentioned, I've been bad at the beginning of the week, but towards the end of the week, I turned that around, getting more fruits and vegetables in. You know, it's fall, so apples are around. I know those apples are not grown in Florida, but it's nice that the local markets have apples. Um, I've been making a caramel sauce. I am going to try and make a sugar-free caramel sauce with like either monk fruit or swerve. I did try to do it with monk fruit sweetener and I must have cooked it for too long because it came out really sugary. So basically I tossed some pecans in there and made candy pecans rather than a caramel sauce. But everything is okay in moderation, right? Um, I did make some, oh, some healthy Snickers. You've probably seen the videos on maybe YouTube or an Instagram or TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, um, but basically it's a layer of dates, a layer of peanut butter, and then a layer of melted dark chocolate sprinkled with sea salt in. So here's a picture so you can take a look at that. And it was really simple to make. Now it's a healthier version of a Snickers. However, dates do have a high natural sugar content. So it's not like I can eat all of these at once, but one or two a day is going to be okay and healthier than having a regular Snickers bar. You know, I'm just trying to resist all the Halloween candy um, 
in my face when I go to the store. I guess I go to the store less. I won't see it so often. Um, so anyway, so that's nutrition. Exercise, been walking my dog. Cut my grass today. I still need to cut my grass. I have a, a battery-powered mower, and because the grass is longer and wet, it takes a little bit more energy to make it. So I went I cut it or I charged my battery twice so far today. My grass still isn't cut, but hopefully tomorrow night I will get that done. So that's been my exercise, nutrition. You heard about, oh, my glucose numbers have been in the 80s and 90s this week. So I think that's pretty A-OK. -okay. So yeah, Friday was my injection day. And what, I've been injecting myself for over 60 week, weeks now. That's over a year. So you think I know what to do. So Friday morning before I get into the shower, Typically when I inject myself, so I got my pen, I turn to the unlock, and then I did this. Put into my side. Well, like right down here. You catch what I didn't do? So I heard the first click and I'm waiting for the second click. The second click usually happens about five seconds, but you know the Manjaro website says about 10 seconds or the documentation about using Manjaro. 10 seconds pass, 15 seconds pass. I'm like, what's going on? So I went like this and I'm like, Oh no, I kept the lid on. Cap. So I pulled the cap off and then Manjaro spewed into my face. It was like a mist of Manjaro and then it started oozing out. So then I'm like, I got to save the Manjaro. So I tried to put the pen here and inject whatever was there and then I could feel it. So I rubbed it into my side. Well, so the next day, usually after the next day, I, I can feel the effects of Manjaro, meaning that I don't have a, um, a hunger feeling. I feel fuller. Well, I felt a little, a slight nauseousness and I haven't felt that in a couple of weeks. Um, I also felt a pain in my side and I've been feeling a pain in my side since I've been a kid and I've had all sorts of tests and scans and no doctor can tell me what it is. I've had my appendix out. I've had an ovary out. I've had my uterus taken out. So I don't know what causes my pain. Maybe it's just psychological. But I felt that, so I thought, okay, well, maybe the Manjaro did work. So today, before making this video and sharing the, that stupid, dumb mistake that I made, to, um, that I made, I read the material safety data sheet. So basically, if the same thing happens to you, don't do what I do. That's what I'm here to tell you. Don't do this dumb thing that I did, because the material safety data sheet said if you if Manjaro spritz into your face, like if you inhale it, basically. Um, get into fresh air. If you stop breathing, seek medical attention. Well, I did not stop breathing, so that's a good thing. Um, if you come, if your skin comes in contact with Manjaro, you're supposed to wash it off for 15 minutes with clean water. Well, I guess I kind of did that after I rubbed it on, then I hopped into the shower about a minute later. So maybe you really didn't get into my system. And then also any clothing that was exposed should be stripped off and then basically washed before wearing again. Um, if by chance I had any skin irritation, I was to contact my healthcare provider, or seek medical attention to take care of that. But I didn't have any of those issues. Ooh, look at this breeze. Oh, okay, sorry. A little diversion, a little squirrel there. Um, so yeah, so that was the dumb thing that I did. And those are the things that I should have done once I did that. Now. Did I worry about injecting myself? I mean, I, I have a box and a half left of pens. I could have grabbed one of those pens and injected myself, or I do have a prescription um, for five and 10 ready to fill at the pharmacy. I could have called those prescriptions in, but I decided just to wait and inject myself on Friday. Sure, I just threw away probably 40 bucks because um, I made $400 and there's four boxes in a box. I paid $400 for three boxes and there's four pens in a box. So it was 12 pens for $400. So whatever that comes out to be, I can't do math right now, but I think it's about $40, maybe more. But anyway, um, now usually when it's time for me to, uh, for my injection, I feel my blood feels off. It feels extra high or I don't, I can't remember if I've ever taken my, I, I guess I have taken my glucose rating and it's not really high, but it just feels high. Like it, my body is saying, I need Manjaro. We need the Manjaro injection. 
Um, but I really didn't have that sensation on Saturday. I felt a little bit of that on Friday, but I just thought that was normal because Friday is my injection day. But we, uh, but I'm just going to move forward and take that injection on Friday. So my friends, that's all I have to share this week. I plan on not making that bonehead move on a Friday. I hope you never make that mistake as well. But um, you know, if you're new here, new to the Monjaro experience, congratulations. The medication is going to change your life. You will have some rough patches. I am almost positive of that, but stay hydrated, change what you eat, you know, try and eat as clean as possible and start moving your body more and try and get as much sleep as possible. And don't compare your journey to my journey because my journey is going to look different than yours and it's going to look different than someone else's. You know, we're all on this Manjaro, Manjaro journey, but we all have different paths that we're taking. And stay in touch with your healthcare provider if you're having um, severe side effects or any uncertainty as well. And just go at your own pace. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to the comments. My head hasn't been in the YouTube space really this past week. But today's a new day, tomorrow's a new, a new day, so I'll get there. But anyway, again, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and remember, not only be kind to others this week, but please be kind to yourself. Bye. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention this outfit. This outfit is one of the outfits I brought back from Buffalo for my sister. I wore it on Friday night for a friend's 40th birthday party. It's a lot of fun. It's another jumpsuit. It's a short jump jumpsuit. You can see a picture of my mirror selfie here. I paired it with this, uh, or styled it with this necklace made by my friend Susan Essler. She's an artist up in Michigan. Uh, check the comments, you'll find a link to her website, but I just love this necklace. And I styled it with this belt. I have no idea where I got this belt, but as you can see, this belt I used to wear when I was a bigger person. And um, yeah, I used to have to you know, hook it up here. But um, yeah, this outfit is fun. It's out of my box, totally out of my box. I don't know if I would ever pick this off the rack, but it's a lot of fun. Um, the only thing is I really can't raise my arm. So when doing the YMCA, I had to modify, I guess the WMCA. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.